Kelsey guy from here in Belgrade. I'm supposed to play my first match today. Uh, I'm supposed to be third after 12, but it's been raining this whole day, so it's like they moved the matches now to 3 o'clock. The court is so wet, but it's really good that they have covers. So they said there should be a window of no rain. So once they clear it off, it should be okay. But I hate rain days. Okay, so it's the morning of my match. And since I'm playing at 12, I will have a pretty good breakfast. Good for me. Because it's kind of in the middle of lunch and breakfast. So show you. Put some eggs, some bread, pancakes, a yogurt, and you can't forget Um, I probably won't eat after my warm-up, I won't have time, so this is gonna have to do. Not big on eating a lot in the morning, so it's gonna take me a while, but I'll get it in 20 minutes. So, great news. I won my match, 6463, and I get off, and the first thing my dad tells me is, well done. So he's like, let's go hit more. Why are we hitting again? <laughs> because I want to hit you. No, but seriously. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the case. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're doing. The lady behind me is waiting for me for doping, which is a nightmare for me because it takes me so long to pee, I'm always dehydrated. And honestly, I usually spy them out at tournaments and I'm kind of like in Rome, I saw them, I saw a lot of them waiting for matches and I was sure I'd get it. And here I didn't, so I, I was so calm and collected, relaxed, and now I gotta do that. So it will be a long afternoon, but I'm happy I won. First rounds are always the toughest. Hey guys, so I have a little bit of bad news. Yesterday in my match, I pulled my muscle. Um, it's kind of above my hip, so I had to pull out at 2 1 in the third. I just felt like it wasn't worth it to play given that Paris is so close. So now I am in this clinic to get an MRI, and I think it's needed just to see how bad it is pretty nervous because I don't like closed spaces and I think I'm gonna have to go inside like the full thing and I'm scared a little bit. Got my dad from moral support. <coughs> Not that morally supported right now. So fingers crossed it's nothing too serious. So we just arrived to Zagreb. We ended up driving from Belgrade because there were no flights. And it's just a four hour drive, so it's actually nice for a change. So now we are at the airport getting our rental car. It's kind of a ghost town over here. I mean, I haven't seen anyone. Um, it's like 8.30 p.m. The airport's that way. It's actually where I'm gonna be tomorrow at noon. That's where my flight is. I came to Zagreb to do some last minute doctor checkups. And then tomorrow at noon is my flight to Monaco where I'm gonna do some last minute preparations for the French. And you know, just life on the road. Not even gonna be here for like a full 24 hours, but the usual, what can you do? Still no car. 